Mr. Atef Helmi, you are the Minister of Communications and Information Technology for the Egyptian government, and you're also chairing the high-level talks this year. You've uh, been here since the beginning of the talks, almost coming to an end at the end of the day, with a, we hope, a successful conclusion. Uh, how have they? How have they gone? Um, it's gone in, in a very, very positive way. Uh, I have seen a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, really positive spirit and a lot of energy in this room. And uh, I'm sure that the outcome of this very high level meeting will have a very positive impact, whether in the developed countries or more importantly, in the developing countries. Uh, we have shared a lot of success stories, a lot of achievements, and more importantly, a lot of challenges that could be fixed. And with the challenges, I'm sure that there will be a lot of opportunities in, in, in the whole globe for a better uh, utilization for the power of ICT to improve the, the, the living of the human being across the globe. So I'm, 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 I'm very optimistic, very, very positive about the outcome of this very high level meeting. Have any particular themes arisen over the last two days? Um, the focus definitely to learn from what we have implemented across the globe in the past 10 years, because we are closing now this uh, two high level meetings that took place in 2003 and 2005. But more importantly, what we're going to do, to do beyond year 2015, especially about the contribution of the ICT for the development and more importantly about sustainability. And there are a lot of things that we shared about it, the importance of using ICT, uh, especially in, in some of the, uh, uh, I would say, countries and some of the areas that need from us more attention than before. I'm talking here about how we can fight fight poverty, how we can fight corruption, transparency, how to extend the services to rural areas and marginalized areas, how really to use the power of ICT to support people with disability, okay, how to use ICT to improve education and health for people, poor people around the globe. There are very noble things that we have shared and there are, as I mentioned, there is a role that we have as, as people working in ICT and we are very passionate about it because we believe that this can change uh, actually uh, a lot of things, especially as I mentioned in developing countries. So if we're really true about the development of the socio-economical system in the developing world, ICT is the, the right tool to do that. I want to talk specifically about the two documents that are being endorsed today. The talks come to a conclusion, the statement on implementation of outcomes and the vision for 2015 and beyond. Now, why are these two documents important? Important because they are laying the ground, actually, to all future activities for all countries. We have seen here more than 130 countries, more than 1,600 people and leaders of ICT. So that's why these two documents, I would say, consider the framework of how we are going to address these issues, okay, in, 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 in year 2000 and beyond. It's a kind of, of a framework of our commitment, our agreement, okay, and our work ahead of us to do in, 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 in the different countries. So that's why getting really the, the agreement of, of, of the different uh, communities, whether ministers or whether the leaders of, of ICT is very important to go ahead in, in this track. That's wonderful, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be with you. And I'm a great believer and passionate about what ICT can do for the welfare of our people around the world. Thank you. Thank wonderful. You. Thank you.